Well, I'm so glad you're with me today on 7 at 7. I'm Walter Hallam. Today, I'm speaking to you on a topic I believe this week is going to really encourage and bless you. It's called Be Strong and of Good Courage. It's in the Bible, and I believe you're going to really enjoy hearing some of the stories that go with this this week. Uh, right now, if you'll take just a minute like you do almost every day, and just share this out with somebody else. Let someone know that we are uh, broadcasting right now, 7 a.m. in the morning, 7 p.m., sometimes in between. I believe it's a word that can actually help somebody quite a lot. And I want to thank you for commenting and always, uh, especially letting me know where you're viewing from. We love all of our friends that we're beginning to meet now from other states and from other countries even here every day on 7 at 7. So God bless you today. And I hope this word just finds you right where you are and will encourage you. In the book of Joshua, chapter 1 in the Bible, Joshua is in the Old Testament. It's the story beginning in chapter 1 of the children of Israel when they came out of Egypt and their leader that God had raised up, Moses, finally Moses uh, dies. And right before he dies, he calls his number one guy uh, who is not kin to him uh, by blood. Uh, he actually is his servant, his closest helper and confidant. His name was Joshua. And he says to him, uh, you're going to be the next leader of Israel. Millions of people. And Joshua was like, I do not feel qualified to do anything like that. And so the Lord began to talk to Joshua. God began to talk to him. And he said four times to Joshua in that uh, first chapter of Joshua, be strong and of a good courage. You know, there are many times we need courage. And we need to just stay strong and resolute in what we are doing, what we are supposed to do. You know, many times we think we're not qualified or we're not capable of going through things and overcoming them because of experiences we've had in our life. I've talked many times to people who have had uh, terrible marriages and bad relationships and they are so traumatized by that, they say, I will never marry anyone again. But they finally meet that right person and then they have to overcome that fear and they have to have courage, and they have to be willing to trust again. Well, you know, time helps that. And being very uh, honest with yourself, and uh, being very uh, forgiving, and of course, not linking one person to a past person, but let every person prove their self out, uh, will allow you to get beyond that. But when God spoke to Joshua, He said, be strong and of a good courage, because you're going to put your hand to good things today. And if you will stay strong in your heart and you will be courageous, the way to be courageous is act courageous and have courageous actions. And uh, to be godly in things, that means to just put one step in front of the other, one foot in front of the other, reach out, put your hand to something and succeed at it. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8 says, uh, Be diligent to obey the Word of God and then stay strong. You know, when I was a young boy, I was seven years old, eight years old. I was actually eight. And I went to a youth camp for children. And while we were at that camp, there was a lake. And I didn't know how to swim, but I told the counselors that I did. And I jumped into this lake off of a platform and I actually drowned. I mean, I drowned. They drug me off the bottom. They, they uh, had to artificially uh, bring me back, respiration and everything. And I spit up a bunch of water and did all of that, and I came back. And you know, that traumatized me for years about swimming and getting in the water. But my father, he knew I had to get through that fear. And so he talked with me, and he rented a room one time at a hotel with me and two of my other brothers. And we got in that pool and he worked with me and we swam all night long until I broke that fear of being in water and I began to swim. Can I encourage you right now? Our Heavenly Father is with us. He will never leave you or forsake you. And in those areas of fear or lack of faith, why not study the Word of God, pray, and let God be your Father. Let Him encourage you. 
I encourage you, be strong and of good courage today. Let me pray for you. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you that everything we have experienced has an impact on our lives. And the things we experience tomorrow, they help shape who we are. Lord, we say that courage and strength in obeying the Word of God, in prayer, in fellowshipping with godly friends, Lord, that it will strengthen us to overcome every fear, every phobia, and we will be like Joshua even when we feel unqualified because your presence is with us, Lord. We will be strong and courageous. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a supernatural day today. Uh, this is Walter Hallam, 7 at 7. I hope I see you at 7 o'clock. Thanks for sharing this with a friend. Bye-bye.